I'm not gonna lie, I think this could be my biggest Disney haul I've ever done. I definitely had a bit of a splurge, but I do feel like I can justify it to some, some extent. Because last week I went to Walt Disney World, as I'm recording this, you'll see this at the end of the vlog series, hopefully. So if you've not seen my trip yet, then definitely go check it out and click subscribe. My name is Brogan, if you're new around here, hello. And I do lots of home, lifestyle, travel, and Disney vlogs. And I went to Walt Disney World with the Disney Parks UK press team, and I got to experience Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind before it opened. I got to spend the week at Boardwalk Inn, I did all four theme parks and it was amazing. And because it was a press trip, everything was obviously covered for me, which is just such a treat and I just feel so grateful that I had that opportunity. So the hotel, the tickets, the experiences and the food was all covered and I actually cancelled my Walt Disney World trip earlier in the year due to personal circumstances. So I had a little bit of a Disney savings pot to um, treat myself to some really lovely things. It's been four years since I've been out in Florida and I had a little list of things I wanted to buy and Disney were also very generous and gifted me quite a few things. So if you go back and watch the very first vlog, you'll see at the end of that, they gave me loads of goodies, which I'm not gonna share all of that in this vlog because I already showed it in the vlog. I will show you a couple of bits. For example, the Magic Band. This is the first thing that they gave me. This is a new pink sparkly one, which I absolutely love. The minute I saw it, I immediately thought, oh no, I'm gonna have glitter all over me. But actually whatever coating is on this, it doesn't um, transfer. So yeah, this is the new Sparkly Magic Band. They also have a silver one. Um, I don't know if they do other colors, but they're definitely new. And I absolutely loved wearing this. I think a new Magic Band is so lovely when you wear it every day, all day in Disney. But I will also say I wore my own Magic Band that I bought in 2017 and it still worked. So if you are the type of person that is going to be going out to Walt Disney World a couple of times, you know, every year or two or whatever, then obviously getting a nice magic band um, is sort of a big part of it because you're wearing it so often. So yeah, I loved having this. And I loved switching out between my white one that I have and this pink glittery one. Uh, they have loads of lovely new designs now. I was so tempted to get another new one, but I think I'm going to hold out until our next trip because yeah this was this was this trip's magic band loved it um so yeah battery wise mine's still going five years later and apparently they have a, a shelf life of about seven to ten years depending on the magic band how often it's used and whatnot so yeah amazing that's the first thing new magic band speaking of the things disney gave me there'll be a few things that sort of pop up in this um but they also very kindly gifted me the 50th anniversary mickey and minnie in these gorgeous iridescent outfits mickey is so lovely his little ears bless him they need to stick back a little bit but how lovely and then minnie of course with her little gold bow. On the back, she's got a gold bow as well, which I just think is so cute. So I'm gonna pop them on my bed. They are so cute. They actually say Walt well, Disney World 50 on the bottom of their feet, if you can see there. So, so cute. I also got some of the reusable bags. They are really lovely this year. So the small one has got Tink on it. She's inside the 50 and then on this side, is the castle with actually loads of the characters in there. Actually, I think these might be the characters that are also the gold statues maybe. But yeah, the world's most magical celebration on there. And then on the big one, you've got 50 with the castle inside and Mickey and Minnie on the other side. They're not expensive, they're just a few dollars. And this big one fits loads in it actually. And I carry it around the park with me, with me for one evening full of stuff. So yeah, here are the new reusable bags. I'm also gonna show you some things I bought in Target as well. So keep watching to the end if you wanna see the bits and bobs I picked up in Target that were non-Disney. Um, but let's move on to clothing because I got quite a few clothing items. I am a spirit jersey kind of gal. I love them, I think they're amazing. They're perfect for wearing in the UK. I have quite a few already. I have Disneyland Paris, Disneyland and Walt Disney World ones. So I think I own about five or six from memory. There's, I've got a few. So this trip, I was keeping an eye out because I was never gonna say no if I found one I really loved, but there was only one I really did fall in love with and it was actually on the first day in Hollywood Studios. I do show it in a vlog. We were whizzing through at the end of Rock and Roller Coaster and it was like a beigey pinky color with like ombre pink glitter down the back. It was so pretty, I never saw it again. Um, and so that would have been the only spirit jersey I would have got, but I decided I really wanted a zip up hoodie because I have a gray one that I absolutely live in. I bought it 
online on Shop Disney US and had it shipped in the pandemic and I've basically lived in it. It's the most comfy, lovely, like I've got an extra large, it's baggy and cozy and I wear it to the gym and I just, I just knew I wanted to get another one. However, I ended up with two <laughs> because I just couldn't decide and I just think they're both lovely for different reasons. So this one I actually showed in the vlog. So this is the 50th anniversary one. It was 64.99 and the sizing is completely bizarre. So the second one I'm going to show you, I got a large like not, not even extra large, I got a large, and this one I got a 1X, so definitely try them on because these feel like they're the same size but they are completely different, so I don't know why that is the way it is. Zip up, we've got the 50th, and I should say I do actually already own the 50th Spirit jersey as well that I ordered from Shop Disney US when it first came out, um, so actually here's a picture of me wearing it, it says the world's most magical celebration, so I already have that one as well, and I couldn't find that at all when I was out there, they didn't have anything like that. And on the back, it's got the most beautiful design. This is my favourite design for the 50th with the Fab Five there. Is that the five of them? Oh, we've got Chip and Dale as well on there. What Daisy? No, it's Donald, Pluto, Goofy, Mickey and Minnie. Uh, with the fireworks, there's what Disney 50. The little bit around the hood, it's like a bit sparkly. And then inside the hood, it's also got a little pattern as well, which I just thought was lovely. I wanted something that was a nod to the 50th and I just love this. I actually really wanted this design in a mug couldn't find it anywhere I could have sworn it existed but maybe it was just sold out while I was there but yeah this is just adorable it's so lovely I absolutely love it I know I'm gonna get loads of wear out of this and now you're probably thinking Brogan you don't need a second one do you probably not but this one I saw I actually saw it online and I think this is a really good tip is if you go on Shop Disney US you can browse and I was tempted to place an order and send it to my hotel just so that, that if there was anything I loved and then couldn't find in the parks I could have it sent but I just didn't make time to do that but I would recommend that's quite a good tip um, but I was on the hunt for this one I saw it on the website and it is Mickey and it just says Walt Disney World so it's a little bit more plain if you like and it's just plain blue and it has 1928 so this is one I would wear more out and about like to the gym and stuff and that one I would probably more save wear it on the plane and stuff but this one is an everyday sort of zip up hoodie I love it and again these sizings like this is a large I don't know if it's men's or unisex or whatever but it's nice and baggy um it's got a little hood it's super duper soft I don't remember how much it was. Does it have the tag on it? This one was $54.99, so $10 cheaper. And I found this in the, I want to say the Emporium or Magic Kingdom, I think. And the other one I found in the new creation shop in Epcot. So yeah, I really love this. So we've got two hoodies. No spirit jersey. Would have got that pink glittery one if I'd seen it again, to be honest. But um, yeah, two zip up hoodies this time, which I'm very happy with. The next clothing item is actually a pair of pyjamas. Now, when we were shopping in Hollywood Studios, the Disney team was so generous and they basically said we could pick out one thing in the store, whatever we wanted. So some people got a pin or a pair of ears or a t-shirt and um, the shop was not huge. So I saw this t-shirt and I was like, oh, that is so cute, I love it. And then I realized it was actually pajamas. So Disney very kindly treated me to the top and then I went and picked out the bottoms. So yeah, I'm so happy with these. They're from the Vault Collection, which I loved. So the Vault Collection is basically like a nod to past merchandise that they sold when they first opened the parks obviously 50 years ago um so yeah you'll see this vault collection everywhere and this is the t-shirt so it's got walt disney world pattern on the right or uh, sorry left sleeve and on the right we've got mickey on that side minnie on the other and then on the pocket we have this design so as you can see it sort of looks vintage disney i got it in a nice baggy size i think this is a 1x at 36.99 for the top so i've got my pajama top and then i did try it on in the hotel room i would always recommend you do that by the way because if it doesn't fit you can return it and they'll swap the size for you um and then i got the bottoms in an extra large these were also 36.99 and they're so cute with the big um navy waistband super comfy Mickey and Minnie, and then it just says Walt Disney World 71. So I love these, and also the pajama shorts, they're like nice size, like high-waisted enough, comfy, long enough, you know, they're not too small. I really love them. I think this is one of my favorite items I got, just because I don't own anything like it, and I live in my pajamas, so I was very pleased with those. The next t-shirt, I actually saw someone else in our group bought it 
and wore it for Star Wars Day and I thought it was so nice on her that when I was in Disney Springs in the World of Disney store I picked one up for myself and I wouldn't normally get a Star Wars t-shirt actually but it looked so good on her and I thought it was so lovely I thought I'd save it for next time I'm in Galaxy's Edge or in Hollywood Studios so it's this t-shirt it's um yeah Star Wars obviously this is the design I just think it's quite subtle like you can clearly see the characters in there and that, that is Star Wars and it does say it in that box there um, but it's quite nice it's it's not too cropped either it looks quite cropped but it's not it's got the Star Wars logo in the bottom and I got this in a large and it was 36 99 so just a nice baggy white Star Wars t-shirt quite simple but I think it's really nice. And then the final thing is actually not clothing, it's a, it's a beach towel, but I just put it in this section. Uh, I found this in the Boardwalk Inn shop. Now, I think a beach towel is a really great souvenir. I have bought one on my last two Disney trips and it's become kind of a thing, I just get a, a fresh new one because I use them all the time. When I go swimming at the gym, when I go on holidays, um, not just Disney holidays, they make really great towels. They're thick and big and they're just lovely. So I got this one. I actually can't remember how much it was, so again, I'll have to write it on screen, but I think they're about 29 99 and I had to get this one because it's the same print as what's on the back of my hoodie. It's the 50th um, design. So yeah, you've got a nod to all the parks on there, the Epcot ball. So we've got Chip and Della down there. We've got the Tree of Life. It's just such a lovely, lovely, lovely towel. And yeah, size-wise, they're big, they're huge. And also this is the kind of thing that I can take on my next trip and use by the pool. I love it, I absolutely love it. Again, this is one of those items that I never regret buying because I'm always gonna get good use out of it. Disney towels are really fab. You may have spotted I have new ears on. These are the 50th ears. They are really, really lovely actually. Let me just take them off my head. So I found these in Epcot and they have the 50th logo on there, if you can see. They're very subtle, black leather with the gold and black bow. And these just are really nice. And they say Walt Disney World 50. So these are like the 50th anniversary black ones. I really love these ears, but they look loads better in person. Because I'd seen pictures of them and I wasn't phased. And then when I saw it in person, they're really, really lovely. And they go with so many outfits, obviously, when you've got black ears. So I love these. I think I might take them to Disneyland Paris with me. I'm going there in a few weeks. Um, but then I also got these. Um, and I couldn't resist. I saw these online and they'd been out of stock for ages. And then somebody messaged me on Instagram and said, they're back in stock in the Empor Emporium in Magic Kingdom. And it just so happened that I was in Magic Kingdom that day. So yeah, I popped in and these are actually the Lounge Fly 50th ones. Here we go. I just think these ears are so lovely. So you've got loads of the characters. Mickey, Minnie. We've got Donald, Daisy. Pluto, Chip and Dale on there, same on the back, and then you've got the logo, the Disney Lounge Fly, and they're nice and soft and velvet inside as well. These were expensive, they were $39.99, so yeah, definitely pricey. They're the kind of ears that I would have like on display collection wise. I just think they're so nice. Obviously, you would cut off this massive tag, um, but they are really lovely. Hang on, let me just pop them on. They're much more comfortable much more comfortable than these ones. Um, I don't know what lounge fly do to their hairband, but this, these, yeah, I could definitely wear these all day. But I just think they're so lovely. They look so nice. So I'm very happy with those. Next are Christmas decorations. I got both of these in the Christmas shop in Disney Springs. There is one in Magic Kingdom that I normally like to go in, but I didn't have time. So I was very happy to swing by the one in Springs. This first decoration I fell in love with the minute I saw it and it was actually hand painted. So it's $24.99 but you pay an additional $6 for the fact it's been hand painted. Look at this. I love Tink here and the fireworks. And then if I spin it round you can see hand painted it says 50th. And then on this side we have more fireworks. And then it says 2022 there, which I just think is lovely for the year that I went. It also lights up apparently, so let's try that because I haven't done that yet. This is the first time I'm turning it on. Hopefully it works. <gasps> oh, <gasps> that is so cute. That's going to look so good on the Christmas tree. Can you see the light through the castle windows? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I love a Christmas decoration from Disney. I just think they're really nice. I have so many now and... 
yeah, this one is pretty special. So, and I took them back in hand luggage in case you're interested. I did not want to get them broken. <laughs> the next decoration, I just couldn't resist this. I was only going in for one, but obviously came out with two, didn't I? This one was $24.99 and it says happily ever after and it's Mickey and Minnie as a bride and groom and they're like holding hands. She's got her little bow in. It's such a cute decoration and hopefully you can appreciate it. I just got engaged to my fiance Benji earlier this year and I just felt like what a lovely decoration to have on the tree this year to, yeah, represent the fact that we got engaged. I just think that's lovely. I know it's probably more bride and groom rather than anything else, but I just love that it says happily ever after on it. I absolutely love this one. Yeah, it's really cute. This is a bit random, but I picked up some bath bombs from Basin. They have a shop in Disney Springs, but they also have a little store in the Grand Floridian. We went there for dinner at Citrico's, and as I had some time before I was meeting my group, I popped in and it was so lovely in there. And Benji absolutely loves bath bombs, so I wanted to bring him back a couple of little bits. He requested mostly food, which we'll go on to in a minute, but I just wanted to get him something else that he could enjoy when we were at home. So it was three for $14, I think. So what they did for me is I used one of their hair care boxes um, because the tubes for the others were massive. They put two in here for me and then they wrapped one um, just because this was the easiest way to do it. But I felt a bit overwhelmed and I didn't know which ones to get. So I just got the ones that have got Mickey printed on them. And oh my gosh, I wish you could smell this. Oh, it's so fresh and lovely. I'm so excited. So he can have two baths and maybe I can have one. <laughs> but these are a gift for Benj, so bath bombs. The next souvenir items I picked up were actually from the Wonderground Gallery in Disney Springs and I think these make amazing souvenirs because they're quite inexpensive and you can do lots with them. So these are actually art prints and they were $5.99 each and I got four so I thought I'd show you each one. I got Moana because she is my favourite, one of my favourite films. I just thought that was so lovely. Next, I got this one, which I actually already own in a notebook, and I just love this artist and all the little sort of characters drawn like that. Then we have this print, which I couldn't leave. I just thought that was so nice, and I thought this kind of looked like me and Benj, maybe, like looking at the castle, watching the fireworks. Just such a nice art print. And the last one I got was um, Ariel, the Little Mermaid. I actually got to meet Jodie Benson and uh, I thought this was a really nice nod to remembering the fact that I met her. She's the voice of Ariel and Little Mermaid is also one of my favourite films. So I don't know, I feel like I want to put these two definitely like side by side somewhere in a little frame. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I do have a magnetic writing board in my office and I think it'd be really nice to pin one or two of these on my office board or have them in a frame or something, but I really love them. Oh, it actually says the name of the artwork and the artists on the back as well, which is really nice. Um, they are actually like postcards, so you could write them and send them to somebody, but obviously I'm just loving them because they're art prints. I also have these two um, cards, postcards, if you like, from the two character breakfast meals I did. So the first one is Chef Mickey's, which is in the Contemporary Resort. And I love the fact that the characters are here on the monorail. And then when you spin it around, you get this card for free and it has all of their signatures on it. So I thought that was really nice. Such a lovely thing to take away from a special meal. And they do the same at Tusker House now. So I've never had one of these before, I don't think. But you get this nice print of them in their safari gear. So it's like a you know, a nod to that meal and that restaurant. And it even says down the bottom, Tusker House. And again, all their signatures. I just think this is a really lovely souvenir. Let's move on to pins next. And I need an intervention because I bought loads of pins and I didn't hold back. Any that I saw that I liked, I basically picked up. Um, so this is, this is, yeah. This one was actually a gift from Disney. I'm not quite sure what Disney Drop is, but it's a Minnie Mouse collectible pin that came on this nice card. So I'm probably gonna keep this one like this, but I actually have all of my pins. I don't know if you can see them there. I do have a pin collection video, um, but I have them on boards and I'm, I've actually outgrown the space of the board. So what I need to do is get a new system, maybe have some boards on the wall or something and I'll show you when I'm done. But I just love pins. I think they're a really lovely souvenir. So that was the first one. I was going to save this to last, but actually I'm going to show you this next because this was also a gift. This is a very special pin that you can't buy, 
but because I was there as media press, we were very kindly given two VIP tour guides that walked around the parks with us on each day. And they were so lovely, Pete and Elise, and we just had such a good time with them. They taught me so much. They have so much Disney knowledge. And when you do a VIP tour, you get a VIP badge. It even still has the plastic on it. I didn't want to scratch it. I wanted to show you. Oh, it's so gorgeous. This is a 50th exclusive VIP tour pin. This might be one of the most special pins just because you can't buy it. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna put the plastic thing back on because I don't want to scratch it. Disney also gave me this pin in my massive selection of goodies they gave me, but I already own it. I bought this one on Shop Disney UK actually for £13. Don't know if they still sell it, but I love this. So they gave, I had a second one which I gave to someone else in our group, um, but this is what it looks like. I thought I'd show you anyway because it's the Walt Disney World 50th one. Some of the merch has been on Shop Disney UK and in the Disney store in London, so yeah, that was that pin. And then I am cheating a bit because I did buy this one in the UK in Shop Disney in the UK in London, but I did see it when I was out there, so I thought I'd show you as well. This is Mickey and Minnie kissing in front of the castle in a love heart, and it spins a little bit like they swing. I don't really know why. I don't think it needs to, but so cute. Oh, and the last ones I was actually given from a very lovely viewer. Her name is Catherine. She sent me the nicest little card and she went to the outlets, which I didn't get the chance to go to. And she got me two pins that she thought I'd love. And I really do love them. Let me take them out of the plastic. Mickey and Minnie on a ring. There's like the bride and groom one. Absolutely love it. And then this one is the bee with Mickey. And that's actually a Disneyland Paris one. It says Disneyland Paris on it. So I don't know why it was in the outlet, but it was. So thank you so much, Catherine. So kind of you. So they were all the pins that I was either given or I bought in the UK. <laughs> now we're moving on to the ones I actually bought. I got 15 pins, which is completely excessive. Did I need 15 pins? No, but let's just remember that it's been four years since I'd been in Florida. So let's start, I got two from Flower and Garden Festival. These were 17 99 each. I couldn't decide, so you can let me know which one you like better, but I just thought they were so lovely, so I got them both. Um, so first is the Mickey one, and it said, what does it say on it? A little dirt never hurt, and it says flower and gone 2022 and then this one says be kind with a little bumblebee on it flower and garden obviously i just loved them i thought they were both nice they actually had i think four different designs you can mostly find these behind the till if you're at a festival like food and wine flower and garden etc so i got those this one was 24.99 but it was limited edition i got this in the pin shop in magic kingdom and i just thought that was really lovely it says first anniversary october 1972 i couldn't find a 2022 pin i really loved so i thought this was so nice because it's um yeah celebrating the 50th this was a no-brainer i always get the pin from the resort i stay at so this was 12.99 boardwalk mickey mini actually really love this i think it's a nice pin this one's a bit more miscellaneous but i just thought it was really nice of mickey and mini on a bike i got quite a few mickey and mini ones because this is also for mickey and mini's runaway railway it does move which i don't love but yeah i just loved the ride it was the first time i'd done it and Thought that was such a nice little pin. I didn't actually do soaring on this trip, but I love it as a ride. And this is a soaring pin, but it actually just says travel around the world. And I just thought it was so nice making mini. Benji and I love traveling and I just really liked it. It says soaring at the bottom. This is from the Vault Collection again. I don't know the price of this one, but they actually sold this as like a, a sign that you could buy but then when I saw the pin I was like oh I have to have that. Animal Kingdom is my favourite park and when I saw this one I had to get it. I know it's 50 years of obviously Walt Disney World because Animal Kingdom is obviously not 50 but I just thought it was lovely. This from the Been There series in Starbucks. We watched a bird show that I really loved and when I saw this pin I thought that was quite a nice nod, a reminder of seeing that bird show with my friends Victoria and Lisa so... I got that pin as well. This was a no-brainer as well. I rode the Skyliner for the first time. So I got the Skyliner pin. I also found this one, which I had to have. Obviously, I didn't know that Catherine had got me the other one, but actually they are different. So this is another bride and groom Mickey and Minnie. Can't help myself, not even married yet. <laughs> Then I got this one that says I'd rather be at Walt Disney World, which I thought would look really good on a lanyard or a backpack or something. I just thought that was really nice. It was $17.99. Two more to go. This, again, had to have this. It was a $17.99. I bought this in the exclusive Star Wars Day merch shop 
and as you can see it's a May the 4th be with you limited edition pin because I was there on May the 4th and last but not least I picked up a Gideon's pin this is the most amazing bakehouse cookie place in Disney Springs and if you watch that vlog you'll know that I queued up and bought the cookies and I love them I actually brought two home with me which we have devoured we ate them within the first two days of me being home we shared them because they were massive um, but yeah two lasted us two days so um, I had to get the Gideon's pin as well to you know comm commemorate that experience are you still here with me if you are give it a thumbs up tell me you're enjoying this because we still have quite a few things to go okay <laughs> speaking of cookies and gideons we may as well do the final few food bits that i still have that haven't been eaten so benji asked specifically for sun-kissed drinks and fanta the Fanta tastes different out in the US, it's definitely more sugary um, and Sunkist is just such an amazing drink so I managed to bring home, I think it was like five bottles of Sunkist and three bottles of Fanta or four so it was quite heavy in my hand luggage, I'm not going to lie. Once I was through security, I bought the Fantas, but the Sunkiss I bought in Target. So he got all of that. I also bought him a box of sugar cookies from Target, which again have already been eaten. Um, and he loves sugar cookies, they're his favourite. So he loves the Disney ones. So I bought him back a couple that I picked up in Goofy's Candy, Candy Company store. Um, he's already eaten one but um he let me save two to show you so i got him these mickey head shaped ones uh with the blue icing and then this one we always get this one at any disney park even in disneyland paris they used to sell these don't know if they still do sadly he's slightly cracked but that's fine you get the gist it's a really cute little sugar cookie for me it's all about the rice crispy treats and i'm really annoyed with myself because they taste so amazing when you buy them fresh in the bakery so on the boardwalk they had them and in springs you could buy them you can get big ones you can also get some with like m ms on them and everything and my brain was just so fried i didn't get myself one so i only have a few of these in the packet um rice crispy treats so on my next trip, I'm definitely going to treat myself to a big version, but this is still equally as good. Um, these, these packet ones are, are just not as fresh, so they don't taste quite as good, and obviously they're much bigger if you buy them from the bakery section. But yeah, I got a couple of these because they're my favourite. Benji's the sugar cookie, and I'm the Rice Krispie Treats, and that's our favourite snacks. In my little goodie bag selection, they also gave me these, um, which are chocolate chip shortbread rounds. I just thought they were a really nice little gift, so I thought I'd show you these, because I think I'm going to pick these up for friends and family next time. And they also gave me a tube of these milk chocolate covered sandwich cookies, which I thought sounded amazing, and I love the design i don't know if you can see it but you've got the 50th there so this is also a really nice little souvenir i don't know what they taste like should we have a look looks like this it looks like a chocolate covered oreo oh that's exactly what it is oh it's really tasty i always find that american chocolate is just not the same as what we get but actually that's really nice as we're staying in the theme of food and drink, I thought I'd show you I got a refillable mug. You might have seen this if you watch the vlogs. And these are $19.99. You have to pay for them now. They used to be included in the dining plan, but um, you can refill them as much as you like for up to 14 days, only in your resorts, not in the Disney parks. But I really like this. It's got loads of nods to loads of the resorts, I think. And the parks and then i got one mug and like i said i was really on the hunt for a walt disney world 50th generic one if any of my friends see it <laughs> please get it for me um but it's the same design as what's on my t on my towel and my hoodie i um ended up picking up this one from epcot and this is a flower and garden mug i really like the size sometimes they're too big or too small uh, and this one is quite cute because well let me show you the design first we've got mickey and minnie looking so cute there i really love that design and then on the back it says epcot flower and garden it doesn't actually say the year it just says epcot international flower and garden festival and then as you can see hanging off the um, handle here it's got these cute little detachable silicon designs so the bow is in on at the moment but you can switch out and there's a couple of different flower designs and you can have them popped in on your mug which is really, just really cute this was 22.99 the next items i'm going to show you i am cheating a bit because i did buy them in the uk but hear me out you'll understand why i'm showing them in this vlog i 
went to Disney Springs and I really wanted to go to the Kate Spade store because I have a card holder that I love from there that's starting to break. I've had it since 2017 so I wanted to replace it but I didn't get the chance to go to the store. I was so busy that day so I was really disappointed and I was like doesn't matter I'll go on my next trip but the day after I came home I went on Kate Spade UK and it turns out that they had the one I wanted on the UK website but not only that it was massively reduced and they had a discount at the time of me placing my order. They had an extra 20% off. So it looks like this, it's got the little bow, the mini ears, and there's space for one, two, three cards, one in the middle, and then there's also space on the back. So there's more card space on this one than my old version. It says Kate Spade, black and white dotty, really, really lovely. It was originally 95 pound down to 39 pound on the website, which I'll leave a link for you if it's still available. But then they had an extra 20% off, so I saved a bit of money on top of that so as there was an extra discount and I couldn't help myself I also got the bag now I was umming and ahhing over a lounge fly in Hollywood Studios I did show it in the vlog it's like a parks lounge fly I absolutely loved it but in all honesty I do have enough lounge fly bags this is a very similar size I'm not gonna lie but it's obviously much more classic, much more wearable. I can use this as like an everyday handbag. I absolutely love it. Now I do already have the crossbody bag, which you may have seen me wear in the Epcot vlog. It's tiny, it just about fits my phone in it. Um, so I'm really happy to finally have the rucksack too. I've always loved this Kate Spade Minnie Mouse collaboration design. This was originally 425 pound, which is crazy. I've never spent that. Um, down to 169 pound, so still, an expensive designer bag but like I said the 20% off meant I, I saved £41.60 total on both the purse and the bag so I just had to show you because this is what I would have bought in the store um, but anyway it turns out I could get it in the UK so yeah it's just in a magnet little clasp it's got a zip on the back and a little pocket on the other side it's actually quite a decent size um, and i'm going to disneyland paris soon and i'm going to use it as my parks bag i think because it's so lovely one more thing i nearly forgot to show you uh is actually a pet bowl that i bought bonnie so this is the life is a walk in the park pet bowl i actually ordered this from the us shop disney last year or year before and we unfortunately broke it so i was basically replacing it i can't remember how much it was but it's so stinking cute with all the little dogs on it i love it if you were just here for disney stuff i think that is everything but i'm also going to show you what i got in target because i had a little bit of a jolly in target as well i went in with my friends victoria and lisa we were about an hour maybe longer and it was such a treat i forgot how much i love target by the way i did go premium economy and so I was allowed two suitcases. So I had a normal like medium sized case. I checked in a small suitcase that I used as hand luggage on the way out that was basically empty on the way out. So I filled that and then I had to buy a bag from Target as well. In fact, I should probably show you the bag. $40, but it was the cheapest one that I could find for the like right size I needed. Do I love it? No, it wasn't ideal. <laughs> to buy a bag i really thought i was gonna be fine like with my mini suitcase i was like that'll be fine but no i had to fill this up and this is how i bought home all the delicate items and actually it's a pretty decent sort of travel bag um it's got a little pocket in the front and then on this side it's got a suitcase sleeve so you can put it through the handle of your case it's not the first time i've had to do that in the us so maybe i should learn from my mistakes this is a bit random from target i mean actually everything's a bit random but hey ho i bought a swimming costume i know you can't really appreciate it like this but as you can see it's sort of a tie cozy this gorgeous color it's got a really nice amount of coverage on the bum um, and it's very flattering with the side tie thing just really nice cozy it was 40 dollars, so yeah it was a bit of a pricey swimming costume I guess but what's that actually that's probably like what 30 odd quid which is what I'd spend in the UK and actually it's a really lovely swimming costume and next time I'm hoping that the chain rooms are open so I can try things on if you follow me for a long time you'll know these are my favorite M&Ms in the whole world so I had to buy the biggest bag that they sold the family size caramel M&Ms so we have salted caramel here in the UK which are baby blue and we can get like small bags of these in American sweet shops and things so when I go to London I normally pick up a little bag for myself but while I'm in Target I always get the big bag but I also wanted to try the fudge brownie ones I don't think I've had these before so I got the sharing size bag so in comparison 
it's a little bit <laughs> smaller. I don't know if you can actually tell. But yeah, I thought we could try fudge brownie because I don't think that's a flavour that we can get so easily. I also picked up goldfish. I can't remember if I've ever tried these or not, but I saw they had Mickey Mouse ones and I obviously just thought, well, we need those. So I've got a bag of goldfish. Let me know if you've tried these before, if you like them, what are they like. A few beauty bits. I saw these scrunchies and they're the no damage ones. They're really nice, this brand scrunchie. I don't know if you can get these in the UK, but you know when you see something, you're like, oh yeah, love a scrunchie. Um, and these are like thinner ones, like they're just really nice. So random, but I got those. I got my favorite sun cream, which basically saved me whilst I was out there. It was so hot, like 36 degrees it reached one day and I was just melting. But my sun bump sun cream that I bought in Dubai basically was a godsend. And so I saw they had the 50 spray version and I don't know if it's cheaper to get it out there than it is in the UK. You can buy this in Boots now but this is by far my favourite sun cream, so when I saw it, I thought I'd pick it up. Um, speaking of the same brand, actually, I went to the, like, mini section, and I got this, which is a three-in-one leave-in daily hair treatment. I thought I'd give this a go, um, just because I loved the sun cream so much, I thought, might as well try this. I also got this hair care product, which is a dry shampoo, a brand I've never heard of, but as it was mini, I thought I'd give this a go as well. Dry shampoo is one of those things that yeah, I normally take when I travel, so I thought it was quite a good size. And last but not least, Cantu is a brand I really like that you can get in the UK, but they had this mini coconut curling cream, and I just thought it was so sweet in this little pot. Again, I thought this could be great for travels. Oh my gosh, it smells incredible. But this is basically for curly hair. I bought a candle for Benj, because he loves candles. So I didn't get a chance to go to Bath and Body Works, but that's okay, because I can get it here in the UK. I'm actually working with Next Beauty and Bath and Body Works at the moment. They're one of my brand partners, and I love that I can buy the three wick candles here via Next. So don't need to go out there anymore. But in Target, they did have one of these big candles, actually two wick, and it's a cotton candy cake pop scented candle. Now, I know you can't appreciate this. Um, the brand is called Threshold. <sighs> this smells absolutely incredible. It's just really fresh and sweet. It's just really good. Um, I can't remember how much this was. They did check it at security. They opened it up. They swapped it and stuff. And um, yeah, I did bring it home in my hand luggage. This is heavy, guys. Like this. <laughs> it's heavy, but you know. It smells amazing, so I got that as well. It's got so dark, I'm so warm from all the lights and stuff, but we're nearly at the end. So the next thing I bought is a planner. If you know me a little bit, you know I love Simplified as a brand. I have bought three of their planners, but I didn't buy one from them this year because I haven't been able to really find what, exactly what I wanted. Um, and buying on their website and running to the UK is super expensive and I have tried a few different planners this year and I've hated them all. So I knew I wanted to go to either Erin Condren, The Happy Planner, or Simplified. They're my three favorite brands and you can only get them over in the US. And you can actually get all of them in Target. They didn't have many Erin Condren, but they did have quite a few happy planners and the Simplify planner. So this is a mid-year one. So it starts July 22 to June 23. This is actually a pretty big planner, as you can see. It's got a plastic front um, and I love the design. And I'll show you what it looks like. So. It's got your month layout as normal, but what I really love, and if I was to design my own planner, this would be pretty close to what I'd want. So this is the first time I found something that's like, yeah, exactly how I want, but this is how it's laid out. I'm hoping you can appreciate this, but you've got a blank section on one side and then you've got a to-do list on the other. So this side is perfect for writing out appointments, like 9 a.m., 3 o'clock, 7 o'clock or whatever. I write out the times that I have things in and then this would be where I put my to-dos for that day. And this is absolutely perfect. I'm not the kind of person that packs and carries their planner many places. I like to have it flat, so ring bind is perfect. It is literally the closest to the perfect planner that I have found for myself. And I absolutely love it. I think the design's gorgeous as well, this sort of floral print. Yeah, I really recommend checking out their products if you haven't done so before. And I just wish I could have bought more things because I love them. Another homeware brand I'm obsessed with is the Home Edit, run by Joanna and Clea. They are 
an amazing duo that go into people's homes. They've got a show on Netflix where they organise people's pantries, offices, children's bedrooms, and they basically make everything beautiful. They label it up and whatnot. And they have a whole range of products. They have some in Target, and I think they have some in other stores in the US. We can buy some of it in John Lewis in the UK, I believe. But as I was in the planner section, I saw this little pack, and I'll open it up actually. It's basically just a sticker book but I want to try and show you it's got a complete selection of different stickers I hope you can appreciate that actually here go on the front here this is what you get these stickers I liked these ones these like multicolor rainbow ones I've already got like words written on them I just really think these are gonna be so nice in my new planner if you love stationery and planners you will appreciate this this makes me so happy <laughs> I bought a water bottle from flower and garden festival I did show it in the Epcot vlog and it lasted less than a day and unfortunately it cracked exactly the same as how my first bottle so I bought one from home with me it broke on the plane I thought I was doing a good thing by having my own bottles and refilling them but it just was not working for me and then when I went to Target I bought this bottle and our, next time I'm in Target I'm 100% looking out for this brand my friend Victoria actually bought herself a small version that's more like a coffee cup with a handle but I wrote down the name of it it's called Simple Modern I have been obsessed with this I've been using it every Every day since I've come home it's got the nicest straw this is gonna sound so weird but like I think finding a decent water bottle um, was hard to come by as you can hear it's like an insulated one so it keeps your cold drinks cold and hot drinks warm but obviously you're not I don't think you're gonna have hot drinks in with a straw but it's massive I think this was about 21.99 so slightly pricey for a water bottle but actually it's cheaper than my flower and garden one that one had more like a push lid like a sippy lid that is the last item I bought I think I appreciate that I definitely was very spendy this trip and I also was very kindly given lots of things from Disney um but yeah hopefully you've enjoyed seeing everything I picked up let me know what you've loved I hope this is giving you some inspiration for your trips I love watching Disney hauls to be able to see like what I want to buy and I write little lists and stuff um but I hope you've enjoyed it thank you for watching this do check out my Disney vlogs I'll leave the playlist below if you haven't seen them yet and um thank you so much for watching this video see you soon bye